What's going on guys? Today's video, besides me yamming my face with six tacos for breakfast and washing it down with a nice cold can of Monster. Taking the new truck, headed down to LA to check out a shop called Breakout LA. And we're gonna go check out my boy Carlos, who during COVID shutdowns or quarantine last year, I actually went and checked out and picked up some shoes. Haven't seen him in a couple of weeks because he actually head up, headed up to Vegas and hung out with me for a bit at the shop. But we're going to check in, see what he's got going on. Literally a day's drive, going down there, picking shoes up, coming back. So sit back, enjoy the vibes as I inhale these tacos. Mm. You know, I had to make more room for the... I got rid of the Benz. Got rid of the Benz, bought a Denali truck, the new one. It's not that I didn't so much like it per se but i'm running four and five suvs a month it's costing me you know anywhere between 500 to 1200 dollars per rental um and it just i see where my where my schedule is going and how the world's opening back up so it took a little bit of a loss on the bends but in the long term i'll be all right what do you think you think i should change the en to un with the un font Don Ali. This is everything you're taking. This is everything I'm taking. Yeah, except for the tacos. This one and this one, we just threw it up there. But, um, yeah, we throw all of our overflow in here. So we don't have crazy, crazy expensive stuff. I mean, you'll see a couple of new ones here and there, but we try to keep that all that retail. Um, this is all like stuff we have doubles and triples and quadruples, you know? So you've been, I've come down here a couple times now. You've been in business now how long? Three years and a few months. And it's crazy to see, when's the last time I was down here? Like six months ago, seven while, months ago? Probably like seven, eight months ago. Like September, right? It last was year? eight months. It's been eight months. Yeah. And in eight months, you outgrew what you had. Yes. You remodeled the whole store, yeah. added a warehouse. And remodeled this. And remodeled this. Because this was a bar and it had walls everywhere. The floor, the seat, it was not I like bought this. a 200,000 plus dollar truck. Any more kids? You bought, oh, you bought a Rolex and you bought jewelry. This, this was a gift. It's sure from my was. brother. But was it yes. a gift when you spent a quarter million dollars on a vehicle? No, 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 like, no. yo, here. <laughs> Thanks. Nah, it's, it was a birthday gift for my homie. Nah, it's really dope to see how you've scaled out yeah, and bro. like how staying at it. What do you think has been really, like, what do you think is behind your growth? Man, consistency, honestly. Having that consistency throughout and then honestly just, just buying in bulk, making sure we have every size possible. You get what I'm saying? Right. We're, we're kind of in Long Beach. We're kind of like that destination, even right. though there's a ton of stores around us. But like people come here and they know we're going to have size, you know, four all the way up to 13. So we have a large selection. So. Are you buying more than you're consigning or are you consigning yes. more than you're buying? I'm buying more than I'm consigning. That's dope. Yeah. I think, I mean, the consignment portion of it is beautiful. You know what I mean? We all get to eat. We all make money. But definitely the fatter profit margins are, of course, when you buy. You know what I mean? Right. So. No, it makes sense. It's dope that you're in both. Oh, yeah. these are the eight and a half that were in there. Yes, and I left them out to get the And I wanted to show you before anything. No, but these are for the toe. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. They've, they've already been worn and good, you know? These are 99s. Yeah, 99s. Yep. 99s. So how long have you been doing this? Since I was in high school, bro. And what kind, like, where did it all start? Uh, I just started buying shoes when I was younger in high school and then after that it just you know i started outgrowing the shoes so i had to force myself to sell them and then i started making relationships those people then two three years later be started becoming general managers and so on and so forth so 
yeah, it was just, I've been at it for like nine, 10 years, so. And then I, how, when did you open the store? Uh, November, 2017. So I was probably like six, seven years in the game. And then I started collaborating with influencers, started collaborating with, you know, different people to give me exposure. The Instagram page started blowing out. And then we started getting online orders more than usual. People wanted to come inside and shop. But you remember the first time you came, how small the store was. Yeah, no, it's crazy. The store was a closet. Our stock room was six. This was your store, this right here. Like from Probably this pole to from this out. pole to the wall, maybe to this rack, bro, if that. If you guys go back, it was tiny. And uh, yeah, it started off super small and then we started outgrowing it little by little by little. And then now, you know, we're here. So. Hopefully by the end of this year, we get to open up another location or, you know what I mean? Scale this one out bigger. We just gotta get Long Beach like situated, which we are. And then from there, you know what I mean? It's possibilities are endless. Nah, it's really dope, bro. I'm proud mm -hmm. of you, man. No, thank you, bro, for always rocking with us since the beginning. You know? What's the best uh, piece of advice for an up and coming reseller, you think, if you could give them one? Damn, I would say money management. If you sell something, you you know let's say you invest 300 bucks you sell it for 350 you think the 350 is all profit it's only those 50 dollars just throw that money back in you know what i mean it'll be a snowball effect don't don't go splurging like i didn't really start touching or seeing money bro probably like probably a year ago and i've been in business for three years you know i didn't pay myself the first 10 months i was in business exactly and it wasn't that i was paying myself because i was making money it became i started paying myself because the bills weren't going away exactly um you know, to piggyback off of what you're saying, I think it's very important that when you're starting as a reseller that you don't think you're gonna make money right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You have to really reinvest, like Los is saying, reinvest the money that you're putting in constantly over and over and over. And that initial money that you put in, you kind of got to forget that you even put exactly. it in. Yep. Like you got to act like you don't even have that money. And if you could keep turning that money every week, week after week, you know, yep. 300 turns to 600, 600 turns to 1200, 1200 turns to mm -hmm. 2400. Six months in, when you're flipping like that, if you're able to keep the speed exactly. and consistency of the volume, mm -hmm. then in six months, maybe you got something where you could be like, oh, okay, yep. let me tuck this thousand. Yeah, exactly. I made five or yeah. I bought a quarter million dollar truck. Or, yeah. You know, like I. <laughs> I eat nah, a little yeah. bit good now. As you guys so can tell, I've been gaining a lot yeah. of weight. That quarantine body is real, bro. It's, it's amazing. It's crazy. Oh, but uh, yeah, it, it goes to that, bro. Just dump your money in. A lot of people think, you know, if I'm gonna dump five grand in, thousand dollars, then you guys are gonna see that in a week. Hell no. Maybe that $5,000 investment only pays back 3,000 and you got another $2,000, you know, buy you have to do. So technically you're seven grand in. And it's just, you know, a lot of people, I see a lot of new guys, they start off and they expect themselves to kind of make that money back in a month. Sometimes it goes your favor, sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, you just gotta keep pushing. And then like you said, six, seven months from now, you're already 10K in, that money slowly starts to bounce right back. And then you start seeing some in your account, and then you just kind of go from there. It's consistency, man. It Dope. ain't easy. That is fire. Yeah, and that shit fit nice, bro, bro. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring you one. I appreciate you, Jay. All right, bro. And this my man, Lowe's. He run Breakout LA. Probably, probably I got to go to Boston next weekend, but we'll, we'll definitely... Well, hey. Yeah. Right. So, I'm on it, bro. Contact, All right, done and done. I appreciate you. All right, great. Oh, come here. One piece, turn and burn one day. Bought a bunch of stuff. Um, now I got to figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell through Urban Necessities. Uh sit back i'm still going to give you guys a little bit of uh what we picked up and kind of talk about that and where i think it's gonna go i got us why do you keep buying bear bread oh yeah kind of look baby sorry i'm a... let's find you a new home the emotional music playing I, in the background. You know, I don't know if we'll be able to use it, but probably needs to go right there, right? That's not where I pictured my house looking like. What the for us? 
Yes. And, and when I mean us, I mean more you. I didn't ask for that. I like getting you things you don't ask for. Because I love you so much. so much. These yeah, things I do or do for you. Alright, so 80 plus pairs that I picked up over at Breakout LA. Um, that, shout out to Los and the team. Um, they they uh, were really on it. This was 80 pairs um, bought extremely efficiently. This was something that I basically went on his website. I added to cart. I then sent him the cart and said, these are all the items that I want. Um, set them aside. And then um, I basically went based off of what I don't have a lot of size integrity in at Urban Necessities. And, you know, the more I think about it, I'm probably just going to hold these for when we do our grand opening at Urban Necessities in forum shop. So there's a lot of silver toes. So this is a good shoe. So if you see me buying these, which you see a decent amount here, it's because I do think that these are going to continue to go up and it is one of the top selling items at Urban Necessities. So silver, silver toes, I bought pretty much in like grade school sizes to a little bit bigger sizes. Jubilee 11s, which, you know, I really like this shoe for a couple of reasons. One of the first reasons, I mean, it's a, it's a Jordan 11, right? Easy to wear. And this was also the first shoe that my daughter started reselling first shoe she ever resold was this she she got early access on sneakers cop and um sold it for a good amount so um i think that's always going to be up there for me just out of like the sentimental aspect and as you can see i don't know how to i'm short and i don't know how to put a box back together yeah i did get one kyanite um which is the newer yeezy that just came out um it's a good looking shoe a little bit more subtle on the blue. It's not as loud as the first one. I think this is going to be a shoe that's going to do really well. We don't have very many. I got a lot of Ash Pearls. And I got a Yeezy Slide. Or two. So I got some slides. Yeah, it looks like I got a couple boxes of slides. But these always do really well. Um, and they just keep going up. And Ash Pearls are going to be these right here. If you haven't seen them another one that's doing really well these earth tones you know kanye really nailed it with the earth tones i know it's some people are kind of like yo i'm over 350s but the reality is is the world isn't over 350s and they're still really selling really well another shoe that i keep saying is doing well um you know these are selling at like 500 dollars right now i think by the by the time i, I put them in the shop they're probably going to be closer to 600 um so load up on these, send them to Urban Necessities. This is like in the top five selling shoes at Urban right now. Um, don't sleep. That was the most I bought was Dark Mochas. Um, and it looks like I got, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pairs of Dark Mochas. Top fours, another shoe that I feel is going to keep going up and is doing really well at UN. Um, I'm going to hold on to these for a little bit. V-Day Air Force. Found that for a good price. A couple more V-Days. These have been doing really well. And then I got some over breaks and a LeBron. I did have a personal pickup. Um, 99 Michigan Dunks. So straight to the collection they go. Right. I'm just going to leave those there for now because I'm trying to make room. And then lastly, I want to talk about some of the gifts that Los gave me. And that's the Kill the Hype LA stuff. Upcoming releases. This one is out of wool. Pretty dope. That unreleased Raiders. This is fire. I asked him for a few of these because I wanted, I wanted to make sure that I got a couple Raider guys to wear it. Another Raiders hat with the logo upside down. Another Raiders hat. Upside down font. Right? So their whole thing is the upside down logos on it. And then the Breakout LA logo. And every single one of these has, you know, patches on the side upside down. He took care of me and got me a Mets hat. 
right? And then yeah, some more breakout hats. So I'm glad that he finally made some hats that are gonna fit me. Look at that World Series with the uh, that one's nasty. And these aren't out yet. So this is your first time seeing a lot of these. Um, so Los again, thank you, man. I appreciate all the love. I'll make sure to wear these um, soon and to tag you guys. And if you guys aren't following Breakout, here's the IG right here. Make sure to give them a follow on Instagram, solid prices. More importantly, better people that mean well and are going about it the right way. And, you know, that's the one thing with me. If I see you guys are doing it the right way, I definitely want to check in, see it for myself, support, spend a dollar with you, make a dollar with you. And guys, as always, I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next video.